Hey everyone, on this episode of Coding with Kate, we are going to dissect another op report. We are in a different body system. This one is cardiovascular, so we are talking about arteries, veins, etc. And it looks like it's a femoral artery bypass, but we'll see. Okay, so our indications for the operation say this is a 59 year old white man who has undergone attempted right iliac balloon angioplasty approximately two weeks prior to this admission we were unable to open the right external iliac artery and at this point in time the patient presents for an elective femoral bypass graft so we before we write anything in our notes we're going to read the actual procedure and see if this truly is a femoral bypass graft or if there's more procedures that happen within it etc so it says the patient was taken to the operating room and placed in the supine position once adequate epidural anesthesia had been obtained the patient's lower abdomen and bilateral lower extremities were prepared and draped in the usual fashion so this is good to know where the approach is happening in the lower abdomen and in both extremities. Incisions were made in both groins simultaneously. So incisions, that tells us somewhat of our approach. And each common femoral and superficial femoral artery was approached using blunt dissection to the subcutaneous tissue. So that blunt dissection We'll see how far in they go to actually go to the body part if the blunt dissection means open approach or percutaneous. I'm not sure yet. The common femoral artery, superficial femoral artery, and smaller arteries were then identified and isolated with liga loops. So they are being isolated and moved out of the way. On the left side, the common femoral artery and superficial femor femoral artery were palpitated and noted to have an arteriosclerotic plaque posteriorly, but a soft anterior area of the artery proximal. This point was chosen for an anastomotic site. So we know that's the femoral artery and superficial femoral artery on the left side. And that was chosen for the anastomotic site. So the anastomotic site or anastomosis, that's when two tissues of two separate body parts are sewn together or connected together. The patient was then heparinized and after waiting an appropriate amount of time, a 1.5 centimeter arteriotomy was then made. Now arteriotomy, when I was first reading through this, I had to Google and figure out arteriotomy. Is that integral to this procedure or is that a separate procedure? It's integral. It's just essentially an incision into the artery. That's all that means. The prosthetic graft, ooh, that is our device, was then chosen to be a ringed Gore-Tex 8 suture. A tunnel was then created from the right groin to the left through the tissue and over to the right groin. The right common femoral artery was then examined and noted to have plaque po posteriorly, but was soft anteriorly. So we know that there's a tunnel from right to left. Approximately 1 to 1.5 centimeter arteriotomy was then made and the graft was already brought through the groin was then sized and the anastomosis was begun. So they were applying or sewing and connecting the graft to the anastomotic site, which we know is the left femoral artery and left superficial femoral artery. A running 6O proline suture was used. As the anastomosis was completed, the left leg was opened and the graft was flushed to remove any clots. As distal control was released on the right superficial femoral artery, back bleeding was noted to be poor. Therefore, a thrombectomy was performed. Ah, thrombectomy, that is not integral to a femoral bypass graft procedure. So thrombectomy is taking out a thrombus or a blood clot. 
So that is a separate procedure. A thrombectomy was performed using a 4 millimeter Fogarty catheter. Again, back bleeding was revealed. Good patency of the artery. The anastomosis was then completed. All ligo loops were then removed and there was noted to be good flow through both the graft and the right lower extremity with good Doppler pulses. The groin incisions were then closed in two layers and the skin was closed with interrupted nylon suture. Dressings were placed and the patient was removed from the operating room in stable condition. Let's start with the bypass. So we know that they are connecting two femoral arteries via a graft. So root operation bypass. They are changing the route of the femoral arteries and making a new route by connecting two femoral arteries that normally aren't connected, connecting them together with a graft. So bypass is our root operation. Our body parts is the left and right femoral arteries. Those are the two body parts that are, that are being connected together. Our approach, with them saying incision and then blunt dissection, that makes me lean towards open because they aren't talking about inserting needles and then the graft being inserted, etc. They're not talking about that. They just said incision and then blunt dissection so they could see the subcutaneous tissue and under that and they didn't use a scope of any sort, so I'm going to say open. I'm going to assume they could see with their eyes all the body parts they were working on. And then the device, we know that they talked about a prosthetic graft, specifically a ringed Gore-Tex 8 suture. Now with prosthetic, since that is not human tissue from either the patient or some other human, we know that they're going to use the term synthetic. So this is for our bypass. Now we have the thrombectomy. Okay, so a thrombectomy, they are removing a blood clot or a thrombus. If we remember from a previous root operation video, which I'll have a link in the description, the root operation that talks about removing a foreign object or byproducts of a physiological process such as a blood clot, hematoma, thrombus, etc. Since they are not connected to its surrounding tissues, they're just floating around freely, the root operation would be extirpation for a thrombectomy. And I believe if we go into the index of our PCS code book and we go to thrombectomy, thrombectomy, it says C extirpation. So even in the index, it lets you know what root operation to use when certain medical terms are used. So thrombectomy, extirpation. The body part, I noted that to be on the right superficial femoral artery because there was back bleeding and that was noted to be poor. Therefore, a thrombectomy was performed. So right femoral artery. And then the approach, since this was happening at the end of the bypass procedure, they didn't really make any extra separate incision for this. I'm going to say the approach is still open. Because while they had the patient opened up after they completed the bypass, they just went in and then did this part on the right femoral artery. Okay, so this is what I have. And when we go into the book in the next video, in the PCS code book, we can start filling in and further defining some of these because with a bypass, most bypasses except coronary artery bypasses. Other bypasses, the body part is where the bypass started and then the qualifier is where it ended. So with this bypass, we know it's starting in the left femoral artery and going to the right femoral artery. So when we actually get into the book, we'll be able to fill in those appropriately. And then we can also figure out the other characters of our code, the section we're in, the body system we're in, etc. As far as the sequencing, we would put the bypass first because that is the 
reason the patient came in for this surgery. The bypass was the main objective of the entire procedure session and the root operation extirpation, the, this part of the procedure happened at the end and they only did it because when they were completing and closing up, they noticed there's not enough bleeding, this doesn't look right, we need to get rid of this thrombus that we just found. So extirpation would go second. So the next video, we'll actually go into the PCS code book and build our codes for this and actually look at the tables to figure out what other information we need and build our codes accordingly. So I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!